the ball after watching Quinshawn Judkins. Need your initial thoughts, then we'll dig a little bit deeper into, into the player. Well, I think he's, I mean, he's obviously an outstanding back, one of the best backs in the country. But I think what is understated about, people love to talk about him. How many yards per carry does he get? And mm-hmm. how explosive is he? And don't get me wrong. That's an explosive fucker. But the biggest takeaway I had from that is that is a complete football player. That is a great football player. Never mind like him in space. Never mind how explosive, you know, the big plays he's going to deliver. That is a A to Z, top to bottom, fucking hat to boots, phenomenal football player. Football position, physicality, pass pro, lead blocking. I mean, everything you could want out of a back, he is it. He reminds me, I said it on the show last night, and people lost their fucking mind. If Ezekiel Elliott and Trey Sermon had a gay child, I guess the child wouldn't have to be gay, but they would have to be gay to somehow create a child. I don't know the no, biology. You don't, to, you don't have to identify as gay anymore. You could just. Yeah, I don't know. If somehow Zeke and Zeke and Trey Sermon could have a baby, that's Quinshawn Judkins. Like, he's not quite Zeke in certain aspects. He reminds me of Trey Sermon a lot. A little bit more explosive. Probably a little bit better top end. But A-plus football player. Phenomenal. A to Z. Like, his posture and everything, remind, like, his posture when he runs reminds me a lot of... Uh... Of uh, the kid Brian Robinson from Bama, yeah, and he's got a little bit of Bijan in his game too, with some of the short area quickness. Is more what I lean to. I struggle with with like finding running backs that like feel like Zeke to me because Zeke had such a unique stride. Also, yeah, like it was like less choppy stride and like real strider. And same with uh, with Trey Sermon took like a more wiry, longer stride. Yeah, uh, but like stylistically, I mean, the way that he seeks out contact when he doesn't have the football it's just it's phenomenal was so refreshing to watch and maybe i didn't quite realize when i watched old miss mainly because i was fucking watching jackson well, Dark. You, can't, you also can't see it yeah, right? you can't see it you can't see like it. what does he do without the ball i don't know all we get to watch is tv copy and guess what the cameras follow the fucking ball mm-hmm. and it's 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 amazing you watch the kid i mean on run fakes right play action pass if nobody blitzes, he can get into a route, but son of a bitch, before he gets in that route, he's taking a shot at a D lineman. I can guarantee you that. Yeah. Like, just plays physical. Uh, well, watching that breakdown, Zach, like that you gave, I felt like bro really hates Harold Perkins. He really does. He's He just hates it. Was like such the a way fun he played battle, football, bro. bro. He played football like he hates Harold Perkins. And then when you hear him speak, like, real nice kid doesn't really have too much nastiness to him when he speaks, but boy, like, in between those lines, a fucking dude, bro. Yeah, dude. And you can tell there's a little rivalry there. Mm-hmm. And, and like I said, the worst thing to come of this is we won't see that matchup a third time. Same class. Both started as freshmen. Both outstanding football players. And they both were interdivision rivals to an extent. Yeah, same class and same number. Yeah, same number. Four on four crime. I mean, mm-hmm. it was it was awesome to watch. But Harold Perkins is the best linebacker in the country. You think so? You think oh he's better than God. guys like that? Well, I, I think... I, I personally think Barrett Carter is the best linebacker in the country. And that's what? that's the that, – I mean, he's a twitched-up monster from Clemson and didn't have like a – like last year, Harold Perkins had a little bit of a dip in every every category. It kind of struggled at times. I think Barrett Carter is the best, to be honest. I don't, I've never – I don't know that I've seen a linebacker more twitched and more explosive than Harold Perkins. Really? I've seen some twitched ones. You think Harold's more twitched up than Barrett Carter? I do. I think he's okay. the most twitched linebacker in the country. But Barrett Carter's phenomenal, too. Yeah. So I, I have I have him 1A, 1A, 1B in terms yeah. of like twitchedness and athleticism. Um. In terms of like where you would rank him in the last five years, running back wise, like running back talent, where would you rank Quinchon Jenkins last five? Um, you know, he, I mean, he's he's up there with with anyone you can think of. I don't mm-hmm. I don't know that he's some generational talent. Yeah. I don't know that he's a well. You, you know, know why I picked the five year mark because that's that loops in J.K. Dobbins, and yeah. I want to I want to know how close he is to him in your in your eyes. Yeah, I mean, I, I think he reminds me of J.K. as a sophomore, right? Which is like really really good back. Like, going to give you some big runs, a slasher, explosive, burst through the hole. But don't know if he has that home run speed. That was Mm -hmm. where I was at with J.K. Quinshawn, I think he does. But it's not like he's ripping off 70, 80-yard runs. I mean, this dude is – he's really, really good. But you even see him get tracked down by DBs and stuff like that. I think he has a step, a gear that he hasn't fully developed yet. And and that's the hope going into year three of college football in the Mickey Marotti program that he can have that J.K. level up because J.K. is last year. Home run threat. And I also wonder, like, how blew out his legs are. Yeah. Because, like, being up around, I mean, being, well, tell you. being top five in carries back-to-back years and really kind of, they said that the burst kind of was going away. Well, damn, yeah, it was. You didn't really rotate him until you got to LSU. 
and the fucking the other kid is, is a Twitch monster. Yeah, like Ulysses, I call him Ulysses S. Grant. He has some fucking Ulysses name. Mm -hmm. They even said in the chat, imagine looking at your baby and saying, hmm, looks like a Ulysses. Not only that, doing it four generations in a row. <laughs> yeah, four of them. Because <laughs> he is the fourth, but man, he's explosive. So is he direct lineage to... To who? To who? Like, there's got to be some general, right? Ulysses S. Grant. Well, I mean, I don't think he's just fuck with you. I don't <laughs> think he's related to Ulysses S. Grant. No, that, I think that's the lineage. I don't even know what his what his real last name is. Let's look it up. I know his first name's Ulysses. It's like the fourth or some shit. It's like what the fuck? It is. Where's he at? Oh, that's LSU. God damn it. Ulysses. What did he wear? Number 24. 24. Man, he's he's you talk he's about really fast. You talk bro. about explosive. And it makes you wonder why Quinn Sean Ulysses Bentley the fourth. He's gonna be a senior this year. Watch out. He's gonna have he's a, gonna be a year. senior. I thought he was a little, I thought he was a little homie. Like no. he looked like he, you know what he reminded me of? Freshman year Trey didn't follow tracks at all. Yeah, like, almost he was, he was gonna get that bitch out of there though. He almost reminds me of freshman year Dallin Hayden. Like okay. when he lines up, you're like, is that a wide out? You're like, mm -hmm. no, that's just a really slender running back, I guess. <laughs> there he goes. And he doesn't really follow his tracks, but he's fast as shit. Man, like, he is explosive. He's real fast. Um, who do you think is a more complete back, Judkins or Trey? Judkins. Okay. At this point. I mean, I think Trey has a little bit of more of a home run ability. I think Trey has a bigger upside, but 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 this kid, Quinshawn Judkins, is, is a better complete player right now than Trey. That's true. And Trey's been hurt. Yeah. I mean, Quinshawn has not. He shouldered that load and has not gotten injured like that. Mm -hmm. Trey's been riddled with injuries, and that matters. It does matter. That's real. Well, good thoughts on on, on Bourbon and Ball. I'm excited for the next one. You, you got to check it out. I'm just telling you, you want you want to have fun this offseason and learn football, college football addicts out there. If you're a college football addict, how you haven't at least checked it out yet is is beyond me. But I'm telling you, you you'll love it. It's we have a blast every Tuesday. Yeah. No, I I had a lot of fun and I, it made me like I was feeling FOMO the first one. I was doing a lot of stuff and, and missed the first one, but I was really glad to be like not not part of it, but like in the chat yeah. for the second one.